feeling very sick, which is why I look the way I look. And the lighting's not very good, which kind of helps me either look really worse or not look that bad. I'm hoping not look that bad. But I've got my lovely Beecham's kind of lens sippy thing here, so mm, it's really warm, which is really good. Kind of because I keep going from cold to really warm, so I'm kind of cold just now, but I'm in a super warm room, so hopefully that will help. But anywho, on with the shopping, because that's what the video is all about, isn't it? Anyways, went to Primark, so I've got my oh, very heavy Primark bag, and... It's actually full of other things that I'm just going to show you quickly because I went to Primark but also went to a shop called Wilkinson's and to me Wilkinson's like is a bit like um, a very 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 miniature Target that you get in America. It just has everything in it, like everything you could possibly think of it has it in the shop. So I'll start off with two things that come together. I got the Herbal Essences Seductively Straight straightening shampoo because it was pink and I thought it was quite cute and I wanted to change up from my Kerastase because I've been using my Kerastase quite a lot and my Tony and Guy like once a week and I just wanted something different so this is for dry damaged hair and I had dry damaged hair so pink one I wanted it, it looked really cute and I remember the conditioner being really good so I got those quickly. Um, the second thing, which is kind of related, is the Tresemme um, Heat Defense Protect UV Filter Protection Spray. Everybody has this. And I actually had like two bottles of the Got To Be um, like kind of heat defense spray and I had one from my hairdressers as well, which was the Rainbow Rooms International. I think it's only in the UK you can go to the Rainbow Rooms. Um, and I think it's actually more, I think it's only in Scotland that, that we have them. I think maybe Newcastle have one, I'm not too sure. Um, but if it is, I'll put it in information bar below because they are the best. It's like the best hair salon I've been to. Um, but anyway, I got this because everybody raves about it and I wanted to see what the fuss was about. And I've been wanting to pick it up for quite a while, but I wanted to get through the other bottles that I had first. So I've got through them all and I've just got like a tiny bit left in one of my bottles. So I thought I would pick this up and try it out and see if it's any good. So I'll let you know if I like it or not. Um, the next thing I have is Listerine Total Care. Um, I think this is the one that's not too minty because the other ones burn my mouth and I don't really like them. And then I get like, like kind of blistery things in my mouth because I'm quite sensitive. I'm a little sensitive pup. But I needed mouthwash, so I got a mouthwash. And I needed some tooth floss thing. And so I picked that up as well, as you do, you just kind of go with whatever one hits me first. Um, and then I got some toothpaste, which is the Sensodyne Pro Enamel, because I quite like the packaging and I like the taste of this one. It's just the fresh mint one, extra freshness, just like the taste of it. And there was a nice wee advert on the TV, and I thought I'd buy it, and I tried it out, and I liked it. So that's the toothpaste that I reviewed, it's not really that adventurous. Um, but I did get some other things that I thought were really, really cute and I went in and I just had to get them because I just thought they were super duper, duper cute, um, which is stationery. So I got this little stationery box and it has a little bird cage on it and a little pink and a little blue bird and I just thought it was super duper cute and this was 80 pence, which I was very, very excited about. You know, um, I don't really know how much the shampoo, I think the shampoo was like 167 the spray was like £4, the toothpaste was £2 and so was the Listerine and a pound fifty for the dental floss, just in case you want to know that. But this was 80 pence and I thought that was great and I'm going to put my brushes in it so that I've got some brushes here but yeah, I'm going to put some of my brushes in it and it will look like super duper cute, I thought. It's an eyeliner but anyway, yeah. Thought that would look nice on my little where I store my makeup. Then, because I'm a list freak and I love to write things down, I got the matching notepad, which was like, I think this was £2 or £2.75, I think it was, to be precise. But I just thought this was like super duper duper cute and it's lined and things like that. I actually have the receipts, I can tell you exactly how much everything is in the info bar. 
Um, and just because I like to keep notes to myself, I got the little memo pad, and this I believe was 80 pence too. Um, without its packaging. And I don't know how to open it. This is typical me, I never know how to open anything. Yeah. Oh, right. You just slide it out there. Yeah. And so it's just little blank sheets. And yeah, I thought that was cute, so I got that. On to the pre mark stuff. I'm just going to get a drink because I actually have a raging headache. But I'm so stupid because, like, I am like the weirdest kind of person ever. And you'd think with a cold and things like that, I would just like kind of laze about and things. But I do tend to do really silly things and say silly things and not act as though I'm ill, which is really annoying. Hmm. I have to be really, really ill to just lie there and be like, oh, I can't be bothered and things like that. So anyway, on to the pre-mark haul. The first thing I got was this dark t-shirt, which I thought was really super cute. And I just kind of saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get that. That was too cute. And I got it in a size 10 because I wanted it to be bigger on me than the size 6. Because it was two sizes big and I wanted like bigger. Um, and so I just wanted it to be kind of loose fitting. And that was um, four pounds. So that was a nice wee thing to buy. Liked it. Then I got a jumper. Oh, they always put these stupid labels on them. Like, you know, like it says size eight. You know, it's not easier to like pick things up, but it's so annoying. And this was eight pounds. And so it's just a nice woolly kind of knit jumper. And it has a little zip on the back, which I thought was just really nice, simple detailing, but really cute. And it's a nice soft kind of knit jumper and it's blue stripes and I love stripes and I thought that this was pretty cute. And it was, did I say it was eight pounds? And I thought that was a really good price for a jumper. You know, I love Primark's like prices, they're just so good. Um, I got another jumper, just knocking everything over. I'm gonna take the silly label off again. I did that, I took all the, sat and took all the labels off the other stuff when I did my other Primark haul. And I've just like in the door, so I'm just thought I'd get my drink and do this. But anyway, this was six pounds, and I absolutely love this because it's a kind of beachy kind of jumper. It's quite see-through, and it's great. It's stripes, sorry, stripes, but I love them. And I just thought this was like super cute to be under a little cami and a pair of jeans and some flip-flops for the beach. And it's really cold and snowing outside. So this is great this time of year. Anyway, I thought it was cute and I really had to have it. Um, I got some jeggings because basically I really need to like get new jeans because I'm a nightmare. And I always like, these were seven pounds. Like, they were reduced, weren't they? Oh no, they are just seven pounds. That was good. Um, so I got some jeggings and they look like kind of joggers if you were working up here on a horse or whatever. And so I like my joggers and so I thought these were perfect because they're kind of like that kind of material of my jodhpurs and they're the comfiest things ever. Although people say they don't think jodhpurs are um, comfy but I do and I really thought these would be nice with like the tops and things like that. And I've got two more things and then in the jewellery kind of section and then we'll be done and you don't have to look at me until my next video. Anyway, I got some rings because I have that, do you remember that? black blouse. It was in my last Primark haul. I've got it here actually because I haven't worn it yet. But it's, it's, it's this black blouse I got last time in Primark and it's got the nice gold butterflies and the gold buttons and I thought yeah so I got these little rings and this one has like a little skull and then a little point and a gem of some sort and a cross and then just some plain ones and I really really liked these. They were supposed to be two pounds but I got them for a pound, so that was all right. Like the Primark would just everything, but I just thought these were absolutely like super duper duper cute. And so apparently they're dark grey, but they had some gold in them, and so I thought they would go nice like with that. Um, and then I got this little kind of Pandora style bracelet, which was also a pound. It was reduced from three pounds, and so um, it just is like you know the little um, beads and diamantes and then you've got the rope but it's also got the chain 
And I just thought this was like really, really nice because I actually do have a Pandora bracelet, but obviously Pandora, um, the one I have is silver. And so um, I just thought this was super duper cute, super cheap, and I just couldn't pass it up. I would have liked to have had a longer look in the jewellery section, but as I said, people were being rude and not letting me in. So, and I couldn't really be bothered. And I was like walking about with my aunt and my uncle as well because they drove me like kind of home and like where I live, I live near like a shopping centre and so I was like, let's go and have a look in Primark. And obviously they were wanting to just go home and for me to get my bags out of the car. But anyway, they weren't, they were kind enough not to see that. But 